Hello, are you wondering how to do your own YouTube thumbnail? Well, you're in the right channel buddy. Before everything else, please do subscribe and smash that notification bell for more informational videos. I'll teach you how. We will make a thumbnail for free using the editing app, Pixert. First, you need to install Pixert on your phone through Google Play Store. Now open the app, Pixert. Wait for the X to show up and click it to skip the ads. Here you can see the different templates that you can use in enhancing your photos. Now, click the purple plus sign. Scroll down until you see colors, backgrounds, and free photos. In free photos, you can use them immediately. There are a lots of ready-made photos that you can use. But since we will make a personalized thumbnail, we have to use the color backgrounds. Here, you just need to choose color you'd like. A tip. Choose a color that is not harmful to the eye. Click the color you'd like. If there's an ad, just click the X sign. As you can see, the color background is not the size of a YouTube thumbnail. There's a lot of choices in here. Select the button that indicates fit. Then choose ratio to resize your template. Scroll left until you find the size of YouTube. Now it's on YouTube size. Click color. Pick the color that matches your template. Then click the check sign. Click the add photo to add photos and remove its background. You'll be directed to your gallery. Choose a photo of your choice. Click the photo and click add. The photo you've chose will show up in your template. You can resize it and move it wherever you prefer. Now, we'll remove the photo's background. Click cut out. In removing background, you have to. Click brush. Brush is for shading parts you wanted to stay. You can increase its size depending what you prefer. Just glide the its button until you get the size you want. That same goes for the hardness which is for visibility. Zoom the photo. Try tracing before you try to shade your photo. Click the eye to see the parts that will stay. Now, shade the parts that you want to remain. Once you're done, you can delete the excess parts. Click erase. You can also adjust the size and hardness. Zoom the photo, just like how you did at brushing earlier. You just need to brush again, but this time, you're erasing unwanted parts. Patiently brush to erase. Erasing parts talk ace a lot of time. You better be patient taught yourself. And if you think that is already perfect or just fine, click check. Now that the photo got no background, you can move it wherever you like. Click the plus sign. Click text. Then type your YouTube title. Then click check. Resize your text. Place it where you desire. You may also make it tall or short, wide or not. Now, choose the font you want. There's a lot of choices. It's up to you. Click color. You can change the color off your text. Just choose what color you prefer. Click stroke. Stroke is for giving your colored text a borderline. You can choose the same color off borderline with your text so it will look thick. Repeat the process. After completing your YouTube title, click stickers. Search for the sticker you'd like to put in your thumbnail. There's a lot of choices here. It's up to you. Choose one sticker at a time. Click the sticker you chose. When it shows up, 
resize it and place wherever you prefer. You can zoom your screen to see widely where you'll put it. If you want to add another stickers, repeat the same process. If you want to change the facing position of the sticker, click flip rotate, then choose from the rotating and flip choices, resize and put it where you prefer. Now that you're done, making your thumbnail, click the check sign. It's now time to save. The thumbnail we made, click the download button above. As this shows, it means that our thumbnail is already saved in gallery. Find the Pixart folder in your gallery and see the final product. This is the final product. Is Pixart free? Yes. Can you use it offline? Absolutely but the sources are limited. It's more efficient if you use it online. I hope I did help you making your own thumbnail. Please do subscribe and smash that notification bell for more informational videos. If you still have questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you on our next video.